Okay, in this video, we're going to 3D model a cup using Creo Parametric 8.0. So at this point, you should have selected your working directory um, and it should be in your Creo folder. And you would just go to that folder and then click OK. Then we're going to go to New and we're going to call this Cup. OK, and that will start your modeling environment. OK, I'm going to choose the front plane. Once it's selected and it goes green, I'm going to choose sketch. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a line, a vertical line, and then use the scroll wheel to disconnect. I'm going to dimension that line to be um, 100 millimeters, but I want it to be um, halfway above the horizontal line and halfway below. So I'm going to set this second measurement to 50 millimeters, and that will put my line halfway and centrally in the environment. I'm then going to use the line tool again we go from the top and I'm going to come out and then disconnect using the scroll wheel as a button and I'm going to dimension that line to 45 millimeters and then I'm going to do the same at the bottom with a horizontal line disconnect using the scroll wheel as a button and then I'm going to dimension that one to 25 Okay, now I'm going to come across to the arc tool. I'm going to choose three point arc. I'm going to left click the top line and then left click the bottom line and then it allows you to do your third point uh, to be the curve. So I'm going to just randomly select that and then use the dimension tool to set that radius. And we're going to set that radius at, I think, 100, 100 millimeters. OK. Now, before we close the sketch by ticking OK, we're going to put a center line in because we want to revolve this shape. So I'm going to click left click and then left click again on the vertical center and then I'm going to tick OK. I'm now going to go up and press revolve and that will revolve that shape around our center line <clears throat> and then I'm going to tick OK, I'm going to turn it upside down by clicking the scroll wheel in and revolve and moving the mouse to revolve the model around. <clears throat> and I'm going to choose the base surface. And then I'm going to choose sketch. I'm now going to go to the circle tool and choose a center and point circle. I'm going to click on the center and drag out a circle. And I'm going to dimension that circle. Um, and I'm going to dimension that circle at 40 millimeters. And I'm going to tick OK. I'm going to just revolve that a slight angle and then press extrude. <coughs> and I'm going to drag this down, clicking and dragging through into the model. And I'm going to go into the model um, by three millimeters and tick OK. Now, staying in this orientation, I'm going to use the round tool. And I'm going to round that first edge um, by 
and then I'm going to go in and round the inner edge also at 1.5 <clears throat> and I'm going to round the outer one there but that one I might make a little bit oops maybe not so much maybe I'm going to make that one about three millimeters and I'm going to tick okay so I've created a detail at the bottom of the cup okay so now we have revolved the main shape of the cup I'm now going to shell the cup so I'm going to choose the top surface left click to select it, it should go dark green and then I'm going to come up to the shell button um, and click shell and that will apply a default thickness of material now you can drag this and you can have any kind of thickness that you want I'm going to choose to have the thickness of my cup at five millimeters and then press enter and then I'm going to tick OK so I now have a five millimeter wall thickness in this object I'm now going to add a rounded edge to the top of the cup I'm going to choose round and I want to set it at 2.5 millimeters um, I'm going to hover onto the outside edge and select the outside edge and I'm also going to apply that to the inside edge there we have a rounded edge here if yours does not appear orange it could be that you have set your radius too high so um, Creo will not show it um, in orange if it's if it's not possible um, it could be that you've created a dimension that's too high I'm now going to tick OK and I've now created the main body of the cup okay I'm now going to choose the right plane and then I'm going to choose sketch that puts my cup in this orientation if your cup has gone sideways um, at this point you can change the orientation here um, so I'm in an orientation but you can change um, different orientations um, so I'm going to choose so mine okay um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to choose the circle uh, sorry the arc tool and I'm going to click down and choose three point tangent end and I'm going to actually before I do that I'm going to reference the edge I'm going to use this tool here called references and I'm going to reference the edge of the cup as my starting point then I can close that window then I'm going to choose the three point tangent tool I'm going to make sure I'm on it uh, somewhere just above the middle quadrant and I'm going to left click to start and then come down here somewhere here and left click again and then it allows me to put my final middle point in wherever I want notice the center of the circle is going to select so I'm not going to I'm going to make sure that's not clicked on that center line and left click there now I'm going to use a dimension tool to set the dimensions that I want for this now there are lots of things I can still change I can change the distance here so I could round that up to 60 okay um, and I can change this number higher and this circle will move up uh, or I could uh, put its center on the center line if I make that zero so I can control um, again I could make that and that affects the radius here so I'm going to change that radius to 20 millimeters um, but I'm going to move this up uh, 10 millimeters okay so I'm just showing you here in this video that we can play around with these measurements okay so I've moved this to 4 I've moved this to 10 I've moved this one to 20 okay 
So I've just rounded up some of my numbers. You can choose different numbers. It's up to you. It's your handle. Um, I'm just showing you how to model. So I've used a uh, three point arc or tangent end here. To complete this now, I'm going to use a spline. So I'm going to click on the spline and I'm going to start at the end of my three point arc and I'm going to click once to connect, click again somewhere on my way down to the cup edge. And here now I haven't clicked until I'm looking at my shape and then deciding what kind of, where I want to stop it. And then left click, I've still got, I'm still connected. So I want to press the scroll wheel to disconnect and I've completed the shape. Now at this point, you can use the select tool and you can drag these points around. You can select individual points. Um, if you click off and just select an individual point, you can bend it or move it along the line. Okay, so there is my sketch and this is going to be the path for my handle. We're going to revolve a shape. We're going to um, send a, a shape along the path to become the handle. I'm going to tick OK. And now I'm going to choose Sweep. So I've chosen Sweep and now I am going to choose sketch. This will be the sketch that will follow, will sweep along the path. So I'm going to choose sketch and it puts my cup into this orientation and it's this point here which is where I just finished. Um, so that line is where the sketch will start. I'm going to choose the center rectangle tool I'm going to click on that point and drag out a rectangle, click to disconnect, and then I'm going to dimension that rectangle. I'm going to set the vertical length here at 15 millimeters and the horizontal length at five millimeters. And I'm going to tick OK. Now you can see that it has followed the sweep. It has swept along the path. But if you look closely, you will see that it has not merged with the cup. There is one more step. You need to click Options and Merge Ends. And that will merge the model into the cup, merge the handle into the cup. I'm now going to tick OK. And now we have that handle in the cup. We're going to add some rounds to just finish that up. Um, so my first step is to round the junctions as it enters the cup. So I'm going to go to round and I'm going to set them at 2.5, uh, 2.5 millimeters. And I'm going to go to each edge of this rectangle and I'm going to click around each edge. So as I move around the model, I'm going to put that 2.5 onto the edge there. I'm also going to do it on the bottom as well. So I'm going to zoom in using the scroll wheel, click on that edge, and then I'm going to click on that inside edge. I'm going to rotate around so I can see these two edges here. Click on that one there. And finally, this one here. So that's put a little radius to blend the body of the cup into the handle of the cup. Um, I'm now going to uh, click OK. And that finishes just that rounding part. Um, I'm doing this because I want to do a separate round for the actual handle. So I'm going to do round again. And again, I'm going to stay at 2.5 millimeters. And I'm going to click that edge there and then the edge underneath. 
and that will blend into the edges that I did earlier. I'm going to tilt it round and choose the underneath edge and again the top edge and then I have finished the rounding. I'm going to tick OK and at that point I'm going to bring that back into the middle by pressing refit and I have now finished the modeling of the cup and the handle. At any point you can go into these and right click and edit definition to change and edit the shapes. The next video I will show you how I am rendering this component.